Okay, hello. I want to show you how to get started developing web applications using uh, Google App Engine. So um, we will start by, you know, assuming you don't have Python already installed. We'll just go ahead and you know I'll show you how to get that. And just say py download Python 2.7, which is a recommended version uh, for production. As you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to to reach. Um, you plug in the search keywords there and as you can see here you will be taking it this website and since I'm using Windows and I'm, my, my Windows is 64 bit I'm going to download this version called Windows you know x86 minus 64 MSI installer so since I already downloaded it I don't want to repeat it but you can go ahead if you don't have one already and then after that you can test that your uh, Python is installed by using uh, a command line something like this so let's say uh, I, I'm on my command line now I can just say type in Python as you can see you should see this when you type in Python and you can you know do some operations like that and uh, print uh, that that you know you know what I mean okay now when you are done doing that also you know it comes with a Python shell called uh, called idle. If you if you you're interested in that, after that, we need now to download the Google App Engine SDK. So we go ahead and do this again. Download Google App Engine uh, SDK SDK here. As you can, the first link here will take you to the right place, and. Uh, there are several options. We have Windows SDK for Python, for Python Windows SDK Windows for Java, for and SDK I'm for Go. Use Windows for Python because that's what I I like, or rather, you know, that's what I need. Okay, now there are three options here for you know depending on the uh, environment that you you know working on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Now I'm using Windows too, so I'm going to click on Google App Engine 1.7.6, which is the latest version of the SDK now sometimes you don't have to download this entire you know application set of tools but it's good if you're starting uh, starting out if you uh, if you have uh, if you have Eclipse already you can you can use a plugin which is which is still fine so you click on uh, download that and since I've already done it I don't have to repeat it if you click on run you know just clicking that the download file you'll be you know f you'll follow a wizard and uh, you'll be able to to install it after you you're done you can you know double click on the, the icon that comes to the desktop since I've been doing some stuff already just go ahead and click file and create uh, a new app and call this one app demo app demo and you can select a directory I love I don't like you know desktop or something but you can create a folder if you want and then remember to uh, to watch for the port okay y you can you know watch out for the port and mine is 9085 you know because later on you will need to uh, you'll need to click run on it so this is this app is already working how do you know that by clicking selecting it and clicking run and then going to your browser and remember to uh, look at 9085 as the port and then go ahead and say localhost localhost uh, 9085 if you visit that uh, that port you will uh, you will see a hello world printed on the uh, on the screen and there it is so you are actually doing the right thing if you can see this now you can easily access the files by saying uh, you know opening a folder in your favorite IDE and let me find it here what did I call it app demo uh, okay I have a lot of stuff okay there it is app demo okay I'm going to close this other right I use sublime text pretty neat um, 
and if you look inside the main pi file that is you know where everything is really right now you will see a class main handler and then inside it there is a get method that uh, writes to the uh, screen hello world now you can go ahead and change this to hello world this is my application just to make sure that you know it just make sure that everything works and as you can see this is where you know the app is uh, initialized or instantiated and from there on you can save and go back to the browser and refresh it and ah, there it is okay so right now you can continue you know adding your the meat of your application here and you'll be you'll be you know on your way to uh, to building a great web application then you can also publish it to publish it you just click deploy and of course you can read more on it on uh, Google uh, website so you need an email address and a password basically that's like an account with Google which is free and uh, you need to create the name of the app in the app engine uh, website too so that's it and uh, you can also access your website by using the browse keyword by the way so that's it and I hope that helped you and you'll you know be excited to start working on stuff and uh, you know I might talk about these later on these are the files because you know you will probably need them down the road otherwise uh, I hope this helped you and you're on the way into building a very great app and uh, I hope to see you soon okay bye bye if you have questions you can always ask me